disappointing that you weren't able to split? Or are you pretty happy with the way you guys fought there? Uh, right now, my emotions are uh, better with the effort. The the result of the game, um, I don't really have much thought on it, um, but I'm much happier with our effort. Um, once again, I thought our guys responded with a with a strong effort after a, a, a poor one and. Um, the message on Monday is going to be we have to stop doing that. We have to stop putting ourselves in a situation where we're responding. But uh, once again, we proved that we can. Was that second period way Miami came back? Was that tipping your hat to them, or do you think you guys have to go? For me, it's tipping, it's tipping our hat to them. Um, the one thing I didn't do a very good job of last night is giving credit to Miami. They're, they're obviously a really good team. and. Um, they deserve more credit than, than, than I gave them last night. I, I focused more on us, and a lot of it had to do with them. I thought the second period was a lot to do with them. Uh, they've got a deep bunch of forwards. They've got some really good D. Obviously, Belpedio is as, as good of a D as we'll see. Um, so I, I think the second period was, was as much them as it was us. I wasn't unhappy with our second period, but they did push back and they took it to us in the shots and, and so on and, and, and won the second period, I believe, I believe won nothing. Um, so, but I'll give, uh, I'll give them the credit on that. Can we talk a little bit about getting the late goal from Rauhauser? I mean, it, when they had scored to take the 2-1 lead, would have been really easy to say, you know what, well, we played better, but yeah. I mean, you guys obviously didn't have yeah, the, the the feeling on the bench, John, was they weren't gonna they weren't gonna settle for that if they didn't have to. Um, so I'm uh, I'm proud of our group for not not settling for that statement. Um, you know, we've 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 the resiliency we've built up that was there. It showed, and Alec made a good play. Um, like to see us uh, not be in that situation, but but at least we proved tonight that when we're in that situation, we can we can do just. Well. If it's necessarily hard, John, but the 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 variable in that in that comment is Miami or your opponent. That's the variable, and and you don't know what they're going to do, which they did exactly what you would assume they would do, and that's push back. Um, you know, I think we were fortunate on the penalty shot call. Uh, we didn't have a very good period in the power play, the first period, but I thought the effort was there to earn some power play opportunities. Um, you know, the shots are what they are. We score late in the first. That momentum sometimes carries over to the team that, that scores. In this particular case, it stopped, and then Miami had the better of the second period. Um, but I think it, it's – I'm not sure our effort was less as much as theirs was better. That's the variable to me in, the, in, that, in that comment is – I think you can sustain it for 60 minutes, but what your opponent does makes it difficult, uh, and and that's what happened. And they're they're really good. It makes it difficult for us to judge where yours is. It, it's difficult for me to judge that too, John. I mean, without without watching the tape and 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 seeing specific things through that second period, um, my feeling is they upped their game, and let's just say ours stayed the same. Unfortunately, I, I, I didn't like either goal. I mean, I'm just being, being honest about that. I mean, there was some traffic on the first goal, uh, but hit him in the glove, it should be stopped. And, and, and uh, their second goal is a, is a wrist shot. I mean, uh, now he made some good saves, but he had, he had, over the last month, he had gotten rid of that, that bad goal or the goal he'd like to have back. And the goals he was getting beat on were legitimate. Uh, and I'm not taking anything away from either one of those goals. I mean, Louis Belpedio is a really good player, but they were both wrist shots that I think could have been saved. So you, you say he made some really good saves and, 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 and he did well, 
but there's two pucks that need to be saved. And I think if we lose the game two to one, John, we're saying we get out goaltended. I mean, that's I'm just being honest with you about that. Um, but we didn't, so I'm not saying that. How do you think Nico Kaufman's done? Because he's kind of had a step in the yeah. situation here. Nico Kaufman has done has done more than fine. He he's a kid who. Um, anybody that crossed paths with Nico Kaufman, he's an unbelievable kid. He's a big time student. He's going to be successful in whatever line of business or work he chooses. Um, he's, he's, you wait for an opportunity, you wait for an opportunity to talk about when you get it, make sure you're ready for it. He comes every day and tries as hard as he can. And I think he's done really well. I think he's done really well. And now he's played his way into the conversation when we do get healthy. Um, to me, no. I mean, I'm happy that the fans are happy and our players are happy. I, I mean, Miami would have been happy had they scored that goal, uh, which, you know, Ryan, Ryan made sure that didn't happen, Ryan Bedner. Um, but it, it's, it goes down as a tie. And um, if it's a league game, that's an extra point for us, so that matters. But uh, I don't take a whole lot from that. The result was a tie, and I'm happy that we, we were able to score late and, feel good about tonight's effort and not as good about last night's effort.